Let us praise Joachim and Dan, to whom in their generation the Lord gave him, who was a blessing for all the nations. Let us pray. O Lord God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Dan this grace that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Come back, disloyal children. It is the Lord who speaks. For I alone am your master. I will take one from a town, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, and these shall feed you on knowledge and discretion. And when you have increased and become many in the land, then it is the Lord who speaks. No one will ever say again, Where is the ark of the Lord? There will be no thought of it, no memory of it, no regret for it, no making of another. When that time comes, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord. All the nations will gather there in the name of the Lord and, they will, no long, and will no longer follow the dictates of their own stubborn hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coast. Say he who scattered is will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy among Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us, like a shepherd guarding his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice in me and dance. The men, young and old, we glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The Lord will guard us, like a shepherd guarding his flock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are to hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom without understanding, the evil one comes and carries off what was sown in his heart. This is the man who received the seed on the edge of the path. 
The one who received it on patches of rock is the man who hears the word and welcomes it at once with joy. But he has no root in him. He does not last. Let some trial come, or some persecution on account of the word, and he falls away at once. The one who received the seed in thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this world and the lure of riches choke the word, and so he produces nothing. And the one who received the seed in rich soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He is the one who yields a harvest and produces now a hundredfold, now sixty, now thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Christ graciously hear us. For those who hold public office, let us call upon the power of the Lord. Christ graciously hear us. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Christ graciously hear us. For all of us who pray in faith and ask the mercy of the Lord, let us entreat the compassion of our Saviour. Christ graciously hear us. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.